Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Slim Duck Film. In this After Effects video, we're going to review a plugin called Animation Composer and looking at 2D text presets for the plugin called Animation Composer. If you do not know what Animation Composer is, it's simply a plugin for After Effects that allows you to drag and drop pre-made animation presets onto text layers, onto shape layers, or any type of object inside of After Effects and it's going to automatically animate it for you and simply you can get three hours worth of work done within a few minutes. We did a review not so long ago on the most handy presets for Animation Composer and there's currently a 25% off sale on these plugins. But And if you want to learn more about these 1000 text presets for Animation Composer, click our link in the description and you can see the many examples of what's in this 1000 text preset pack for Animation Composer. I want to show you guys how awesome this is and literally how we can animate this series of text scenes in a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and get in this video and let me show you how this plugin works. So right here we just have five different text layers and we need to animate this. So this is specifically for text layers. So we come here to Animation Composer, we open up our transition presets and we go to the text folder. We have three main folders called Animate Characters, Animate Lines, and Animate Words. So each of these will do something very specific. So let's start with Animate Characters and we can grab whatever folder has the animation presets that we want. So maybe we'll start with something simple. We'll do a just a position. Then we have some more folders in here that just simplify what we want to do. So maybe we'll do like a bounce animation and we can preview the animation by clicking on it and you can see what's going to happen. So maybe we'll grab this one and you want to select your text layer down here in the timeline and you grab the preset and you apply it as in. And now we run through that. You can see we have this text preset that looks really nice and it's put together in a matter of seconds. And if you want this animation to be shorter or longer, you come here and grab the marker and you can extend it out and that will extend the animation. Or it'll shorten it up. And you're probably thinking, well, if this is just a preset, what's so important about having this as a plugin? Well, let's go ahead and select multiple layers here. So maybe we'll select the next three layers here. Perhaps we'll grab fade, position, rotation, and scale. So it's gonna be a lot of animation here and we can come here just drag it and apply as into all these layers and if we scrub through this you can see that all of our layers get applied at the same time but what, what if we want to offset this in time so we can grab our three layers again we go to more tools and we go to transition shifter and with this menu we can go to shift and go to in transition markers and we can set the number of frames to maybe five frames so we want to stagger it by five frames and click on do now the transition is five seconds staggered and that's what's special about animation composer you can apply transitions to multiple layers and then you can stagger them in time which is amazing and keep in mind that there's over 1000 presets in this pack so there's really no way that i can't find something that, that's going to work so and with a quick render of the scene i'm able to animate this in literally under a couple of minutes and to do this type of animation would have taken me probably 30 minutes at least to an hour to animate this all individually. Of course, I did duplicate the three, uh, you know, uh, preset there, but we're going to explore this again in another composition. But you see the point of this. You have over a thousand presets. You can do whatever you want. They're highly professionally made and they're going to save you a ton of time. So that's basically animation composer in a nutshell. And let's say we want to animate the scene out very quick. All we have to do is select all of our layers. We can grab a nice preset that we really like. So like rotate. Maybe we'll grab this, we'll apply it as out. And then we go to more tools, go to that transition shifter. And we can do once again, like five frames, click on do. And then you can click on out transitions and you can set where you want the out transitions to be. So we can drag these in by a little bit and boom, there it is in the timeline. And after our render, we have our in transition and our out transition all customized and put together in literally a couple of minutes with the over a thousand transition presets that we have inside of Animation Composer. We can animate this full scene really quick and it can be completely unique and we control all the keyframes and it's very simple to use with Animation Composer. But we go to scene two over here and now I have, you know, this entire title sequence. Maybe I'm syncing this to a, you know, a lyric video, a voiceover or just trying to be dramatic with the text. Well, this is where we can start exploring some of these presets just individually and not all over the place like we did in the last composition. And maybe we'll do like position and rotate. We got wiggly. We do something like that. That's pretty cool. But I don't think we have enough letters for that. Maybe we'll go to decode. And of course, there's a few other, you know, folders in here. This is really a lot. Uh, but we can come here and grab one that we like. So maybe we'll apply that as in. 
and we'll drag this in in time and now you get that preset so we have our first transition we can go to our second one over here and we can look at some other options so maybe we'll do a, you know a rotate scale and position we can do like a basic look at those presets that's pretty cool we can apply drag and drop it and apply it as in Now we're doing animate characters, but what if we do like animate words? So we just don't have to do characters. You know, there's certain words in here that we can animate as well. We can also animate by line. So keep that in mind as, you know, definitely as well. Uh, so maybe we'll do like just a nice position and we'll do like overshoot. And we'll apply that as in. That's cool. All right, and just to show that we can animate lines, we can just grab like a fade in position. We'll do wiggly and I'll apply this as in. So that's pretty interesting. So basically we have all the presets that we need for, for either characters, lines or words. And just for a quick preview here, we're able to animate the sequence with unique animations within a couple of minutes instead of uniquely animating each of these layers. Obviously this is very simple, but let's move on to the scene three and we, we can even use this for opening titles for videos. So perhaps we want to do like a nice dramatic fade. Perhaps we like this transition, we'll apply it as in. And just like that, we can animate our opening title or any title for this case. And be sure to click our link in the video description to learn more about the text preset pack for Animation Composer. There's a preview of, of course, a lot more examples here on the product page that you can learn more about it and see what you can use this possibly for but just keep in mind that you don't have to do any you know keyframes you just have to drag and drop a preset and it will be very rare if you have to use the same preset twice if you don't want to use the same preset so go ahead and check this out links in the description and over on my review on this it's just you know if you can save a lot of time it's always worth it, especially with keyframes. It's just really messy, especially when you're animating, you know, a explainer video or a lyric video. It can take a lot of time and it gets really disorganized. But this is very simple. I can easily remove presets. I can animate the in and out points of, you know, the text layers within a couple of seconds. So overall, this is an amazing plugin and an amazing pack. And the thing I failed to mention at the beginning of the video, animation poster is actually free. You can go to the, just click the link in the description and you can download animation composer somewhere out here on the product page and you get us and you get a few presets but if you really want to take this to the next level you're going to have to purchase the text preset pack to have the thousand text presets so at the very least you can download animation composer for free and you can learn a little bit more about it yourself and then if you really like it and you're like okay yeah this is going to save me a lot of time i'm going to go ahead and you know purchase this that makes a lot of sense so that's Animation Composer in a nutshell. Be sure to check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review video and learned a little bit more about an awesome product that can help you save time. If you did enjoy this video and you're subscribed to our channel, be sure to drop a like. If you are not subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We post After Effects videos every single week. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.